Grenada will, on October 19th, engage in a national ecumenical service and other activities to commemorate the lives lost during the tragic events of October 19th, 1983. The day will now be known as National Heroes Day. Chair of the National Celebrations Committee, Jackie Alexis, says the National Heroes Day has been widely welcomed since the announcement was made by Prime Minister Honorable Deacon Mitchell during a press conference on September 19th. Ms. Alexis says Grenadians at home and in the diaspora see the decision as one that reflects acknowledgement of our history taken seriously. The events to mark the day is one that will allow for reflection and remembrance as it is twinned with with the 40th anniversary of the revolution. For the 19th, we have um, planned an activity that will um, take place at the uh, Kirani James Athletic Stadium. Starting at 9 a.m. on the 19th, we will um, begin with an ecumenical service, um, which will include readings from members of, or well, family members of those who would have lost their lives on, on the 19th. Obviously, our church leaders will lead, lead the service and um, then we will move into the second part of that morning's activity, which will include um, uh, presentations, cultural presentations um, with, um, from our national folk group. We will also have PBC Boys Choir. We will have a, um, a, po a poetry um, section. Um, and we've also got, um, which I'm, I'm really excited to, to get to see actually, um, we're having a um, scene from the production Redemption Time by Urias Peters, which actually opens at La Bucan on the 20th of October. And they're doing a, a short scene which um, revolves around the activities and the events of the 19th of October 1983. Following the ecumenical service, there will be speeches made to include an address from Prime Minister Honorable Deacon Mitchell. We will have um, some remarks by um, family members. We will have remarks by um, members from the uh, Morris Bishop October 19th Martyrs Foundation, who we have had um, extensive consultation with uh, around this event. And um, also we will have an address by um, our Prime Minister, Honorable Dickon Mitchell. And um, that will finish off that section of the day. The activities, she says, will not end on conclusion of the National Ecumenical Service at the stadium. At one o'clock, there will be um, a tolling of all church bells right across the Tri-Island State. And at that time, we are asking the nation to join us in a, a, a minute silence. So wherever you are on the island, wherever you are, whether you're, at, you're actually working that day or you're at home, at one o'clock when you hear the church bells ringing, this is the opportunity for us as a nation to stand and honor the events of, of, 19, of 19th of October 1983 with a minute's silence. So we're asking for the, the, um, the indulgence of our citizens in that. And then the final part of the day will be at 7 p.m. and that will be on the Carinage where we will hold a candlelit vigil. And it really is just a, another moment to assemble, to gather together as, as you know, as one people, as one unified um, nation um, to come together and again mark this, that um, solemn occasion. And that would end the activities for that day. Interested persons can contact the parliamentary office if they require transport to attend the National Ecumenical Service.